Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Doug with Artfully Rogue and today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's not necessarily a build video. It's uh, really not me doing any project uh, on camera, but it's kind of explaining that I've had a, a lot of back burner projects that have been sitting on shelves or sitting back on the burner uh, waiting to get done. And for example, this fountain. Uh, it has been probably over a year uh, since I started working on this. Now obviously I don't work on it uh, for the entire year. This particular project, uh, it just takes a while to find all the parts and pieces and then you know another paid gig comes in and so you know you have to kind of change up things a little bit. I, you know you got to be flexible. In this business you have to be flexible. Uh, certain projects require more attention than others. I'm glad to say that it is finally going to be leaving my shop tomorrow and I'm going to be delivering the fountain to the client. And I just wanted to show you how it works and what all happened with it while uh, it was here in my shop. And uh, yeah, so check this out. So I'll start with the top. I, I found the fluted piece at a Goodwill uh, probably about two years ago and I thought, wow, that'd be kind of cool for a fountain. And so that was the center of where all of this started. Um, as you can see, there are little teacups or little copper cans. Uh, I found more fluted pieces. I use a lot of copper because it's easy to solder, it's easy to work with. Uh, like the pinwheel I made, that's out of a bunch of uh, half inch caps that would go in the solder. The fountain itself, the motor, uh, is a super heavy duty industrial motor uh, and it really puts out a lot of volume. And so to regulate that volume, I put in a tap that could be adjusted. And then the client met with me a while back ago, and I guess a relative of hers collect glass. And so this was one of the pieces of glass that um, one of her relatives collected. Same thing with this uh, little guy back here. It was also collected by a relative. I think it's the father, but I'm not for certain. Uh, it's been a while since we've talked. But I'm always trying to find different ways to get the water to run. So I've allowed three different spigots, or should I say three different tubes, to come out of the top of the little trumpet piece. And each one will go down and like this one hits the spiral and then goes into the pinwheel and it kind of splashes. And then you've got this one that goes out of the little can and it goes down into the spiral and then comes out right there. Now in the base, I'm gonna actually put in some uh, river rock. That way you don't see the metal grating. Uh, right here in the back. There's that one that kind of comes down, little component there. Goes into the flute, into a little spring. So I'm driving to the client's house right now to install the fountain and uh, this always kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, it's like I'm driving, you know, on probably the roughest roads and every little bounce makes me nervous that, oh man, is something going to break or is something going to dislodge? Um, 
So, you know, I was kind of keeping an eye on the rear view mirror. I'm not sure if you can see it back there. Uh, kind of bouncing around. But anyway, we're almost there, about to install, and then I can kind of like uh, get rid of this thing and, and uh, get on to the next project. So uh, let's get there quick. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that button right there. And if you got a little extra time on your hands, go ahead and check out some more of my videos. Talk to you next time.